is the king baboon tarantula from the country of Tanzania in eastern Africa. If you look at this footage, Pelinobius muticus, formerly known as Citaricius crossi, or just use the common name, the king baboon tarantula, is actually one of its kind. Because of its rear legs, it is an absolutely massive tarantula, which reaches sizes almost as big as the Goliath bird-eating tarantula, with the difference that its leg 4, like its hind leg, the leg, the rear part, is extremely massive and has such a almost adorable looking feeling to it, like a yeah, dog paw when you zoom into it. And this king baboon tarantula has the special ability to not only actively defend themselves with, of course, a potentially nasty bite, because of course they have venom and it is not um, yeah, that light on, let's say, mammals, and we humans are mammals, but they have the ability to, before biting, actually use their ability to stridulate and produce a sound so that the potential predator actually just thinks about it to have this tarantula as a meal. Let me know down in the comments if you keep any tarantulas as a pet who, from time to time, stridulate. There are quite a few different ones. For example, Morocentropus palfuri, Terraphosa blondi, the Goliath bird-eating tarantula, and a lot of other tarantulas, such as the arboreal ones from the Psalmopoene subfamily Psalmopoeus, meaning that all Avicularia tarantulas, like Caribena, Tufohlaena, cannot stridulate. Of course, there are other exceptions, and it's up to you to find out which tarantula can actually stridulate and which one can't. But rest assured, there are more tarantulas who you would not think in the first place who can stridulate actually stridulate and make a sound. The yeah, probably best sound there is from a tarantula making such a hissing noise and stridulate sound would be the ones from Australia, but sadly we don't have them in our collection and currently I don't know anyone in Switzerland who actually owns one. Let's hope for the future that we can actually film and document a Australian tarantula with their ability to whistle, because that's the name in common name they have in their native language, whistling spiders in Australia. Now to bring in a bit more of science-baked news to the whole topic, uh, there has been a experiment conducted in 2005 by Perez Miles et al. with a species uh, of Acatoscuria suina. They have removed the ability of the specimens to stridulate and, and they tried to find out with this experimental approach if there is any stridulation involved in, yeah, let's say, communication in mating rituals. And they have found out that there was no difference when introducing the male specimen with the female specimen. So of course they went drumming and everything and the whole pairing went very well without the ability of the male to stridulate. The role of communication within the mating ritual was tested in this experiment almost 15 years ago. But there are other experiments of non terraphosid spiders, such as the genus Palpimanus, which is usually just preying on other spiders, and they have found out in a very similar approach and experiment that when the Palpimanus were not able to stridulate, the specimens within the same genus of Palpimanus preyed on their own species because they could not communicate with stridulating, and when they let them be in their original state, so that the Palpimanus species and specimens could actually stridulate, they found out that they stridulate very loud when there is a potential predator involved, but when there is a, I would say, individual from the very same species present, they stridulate in a softer tone so they can communicate and let the others know that, hey, I'm actually the one from the very same species, so please don't prey on me. That's basically these two different experiments regarding stridulation organs within tarantulas and other spiders. So I think there is a lot more studies to be done and this is something you can actually try at your place at home and just find out on how these tarantulas behave in captivity and if you see any different behavior in them. So there are different types of stridulation organs in tarantulas all across the globe. So such as with the urticating hairs, we have 
at the moment seven different types of urticating hairs, there are also different types of stridulation organs, so not all look alike, especially the ones from Petiroteria, for example, are more thorn-like, and we have, for example, the ones from Harpactira, who has more of a Velcro-like structure, which also acts just like, yeah, using Velcro in your clothes, and that's actually producing the hissing sound. So different types of stridulation organs actually, yeah, create different sound when the tarantula uses them for stridulating and creating these hissing sounds. And this is quite fascinating since the one from this species right here, Pelinobius multicus, and also these stridulation organs or stridulation setae are covered on different parts of the legs. So for example, there are species who have them on the outside of the halitzera and on the inner side of the pulp. So they actually use their pulp right next to their teeth to create this stridulation sound and hissing sound and others have it between leg one and two for example and there are again others who have both like between uh, the halicera and pedipalpus and also between leg one and two such as this pelinobius multicus which you actually see in this video that this Pelinobius multicus has this hissing sound made between leg like one and two and not between the chelicera and the actual pedipole. That's enough information. Break it down. Find out more about the tarantulas you have in your collection. Let me know down in the comments if you have one actually who hisses and if you have ever heard the specimen hiss before. That would be extremely interesting to hear and also leave a like on this video. It would be greatly appreciated. Also send this video around to your friends, maybe someone who just wants to start with the tarantula. This would be another reason for them to start with the tarantulas and, and actually get fascinated by these amazing spiders. So share, like, subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated and the next video will actually be about a extremely, extremely colorful tarantula. See you soon.